Hi guys, today we're in a 2005 325CI. We're going to show you how to install a uh, iPod adapter. All right, first step to uh, taking it out is going to pop out this panel. Um, I'm going to do it real time. If you look at this panel, these are my PPT12345 five panel tools. All right, now the difference between these and the, uh, this set's pretty cheap. Well, not cheap, it's, we pretty much give it away the price, but the difference is that our, our kits, when you go to put them in, they don't flex as much as the other ones. So some of the cheaper ones that I've seen other videos do, you could tell they've been fighting them for hours because, you know, they flex. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here and just gonna pry outwards. All right, it's gonna, all right, use your fingers too. Nice, I love when people have new cars that haven't been touched. All right. That one's always a pain, so I'm just gonna go on the other side, open the door. All right, this one's always a pain because it's on the end. So, just always come out here. All right, so as you can see here, these clips over here, they go into these plastic pieces. And then what these plastic pieces, if you look inside, they have metal. So that's why it's important to pry out because if you try to yank out this way, what they're gonna do is they're gonna catch on the plastic piece, on the metal inside. Cause like, I don't know if you can see in the video, but inside of there, there's a little metal. So it's plastic, but it's metal inside. So I just spread out and it came out nice. I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't always come out that nice. Sometimes you do have to fight with it a little bit. Um, you know, or sometimes someone's tried to pry it out before. And then by the time you get in there and try to do it, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's already, the damage has been done, but just take your time straight out uh, this is PPT 5 this is the wide one our kit includes two of them this one's more for hard price this is more for you know all right so let me show you how to take out the uh, one over the radio all right guys so now we're moved on to here um, this piece actually if you look at it it's held in with the other clip and then there's one more over here so what we're gonna do is just gonna go straight oop, wrong panel use the wide one not the little one all right I'm gonna go right over here and we're just gonna pry straight out. See, if you pry straight out, that comes right out. It's when you disturb it that you have issues. All right, see it? That came right out, perfect. All right, guys, now next part of the install is take out the radio. There's two screws, one on each side. Now, keep the screws for the radio separate because they're different from the other four screws we're gonna take off. Steering wheel's a little bit in the way. All right. So now the radio just comes out like so. Now, next part you're gonna do, there you go. You're gonna make sure that there's no CD in here. All right. Good, no disc. All right, because last thing you wanna do is to have a, uh, a CD in there. All right. You know what, let me switch the camera angle so I can just give you a better view. All right guys, just wanted to give you a better angle to see. Um, all right, so what we're gonna do now is gonna pull out the radio. Now when you pull out the radio, make sure you put something under here so you don't scratch up your dashboard. All right, this is a uh, actually Sears uh, tool liner. It works really good for this. All right, so next thing you're gonna do is you're going to pull up on here, all right, and this will disconnect. Well, first thing you can do is actually grab over here. There's a little tab on the right, and you're gonna squeeze that, pull out the antenna. All right, see that little squeeze tab? All right, then you're gonna come over here and pull up. This, it's funny because I always pull from the sides, but if you look over here, they actually, can you see that? They actually tell you to use a screwdriver. I find it hilarious. Usually if you pull up with your hands, it's usually enough, but you know what? I made fun of the screwdriver gods, and now, they're getting back at me because this thing is not coming out. All right, so I'm gonna grab one of my pry tools. Pry it up. You can use a screwdriver. I just, just I looked down as the first thing I saw. Yeah, I've never had to pry one of these out. Usually they slide right out. All right, so that's that. All right, guys, now that we got the radio out, um, 
we're gonna have the sometimes just one, sometimes just two connectors over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, it's really easy, just push this connector in. Oops, I'm gonna open it up first. Push this connector in, and then the, the other side pops out, and that's what holds these two into place. All right, so one, and then two. Make sure you put this back in here so you don't lose it. All right. All right, so that's that. Now that we got the radio out, let me switch angles again and show you the uh, rest of the removal. Oh, actually, no. We're here already. Let me, uh, hmm. actually, no, yeah, I'll switch angles. All right, guys, now we're gonna show you how to pop out the climate control. So I just put two fingers back here, it pops right out. I'm um, gonna come over here. This is actually a newer style. Uh, if you look at my other video, it has the older style, the big one. Um, all right, so there's a clip over here. You're gonna use a screwdriver, push this in, and then just wiggle it and pull from the wire. This one just comes right out. All right, this one you push down on this clip. This lever moves over and actually pulls itself right out, okay? And then this one has a clip over here. So you push in on that clip and it pretty much comes right out. All right, that's that. Climb control, out. All right guys, the next step is to take out the four screws around the radio. Now. These four screws, like I said before, are different than the ones that hold in the radio. So when you take them off, store them separately. All right, and also when you put the, any of these screws back in, don't use a screw gun. Do them by hand only because it's very easy with a screw. This has a, this has a, uh, this has a, I can do this, and it also has a torque. But a lot of you guys don't have a, a you know, a lot of you guys have a cheap drill. Even if you don't have a cheap drill, it's, sometimes you don't know how to use it. And the last thing you want to do is see these metal things here, you want to strip them. So. Now we that, you see that? Now next part is getting the vents out. Let me see how uh, low I can get this camera and show you how to get the vents out. All right guys, now we're about to do the part that everyone says is impossible, um, taking out this vent, and I agree, this was super impossible before you learned the trick. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick my screwdriver in here, put a little upward pressure. Now I'm gonna go up, and then now when you go over here, I actually see the, the clip that holds it in, okay? So now that I see the clip, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick one of my panel tools, I'm gonna grab the flat one, I'm gonna put it over here to hold this gap open, okay? Now, I'll make sure the gap is to the right of the clip. Or actually, you know what, it doesn't even matter, put it right on the clip. Now, once you do that, you're gonna come over here, do the same thing over here, right about, put this all the way to the right, dead center where it's at, that's where you're gonna wanna pry. And now you're gonna pry up, and that releases the second clip. All right, now look, some of you guys that have tried this, you guys, no way. No way. And honestly, I've done this a couple times in a couple different cars, and I've and this is the first one that I've actually done the trick right out the bat. So this is virgin, all right? So look at the clip here and the clip here. So what happens is that these clips, once you push it in, they hold, all right? See even this one? All right, so what, you, what you're gonna do is that when you pry up, you gap this, get this out, you pry up, you gap this, and you get that out. Honestly, this one came out a little further back. It, it'll go back in right. But if you really want to do it better, you're going to have two friends doing it at the same time with two screwdrivers. So basically what you're doing is you're pushing up, and then once you do that, you pry. So when you pry, it separates this cushion from that gap and lets it come out freely. All right? Let me adjust the angle, and we'll show you how to get this blue cable out of here. All right, guys, now that I took the uh, vent out, you're going to grab your screwdriver. And this little, th right here, there's a, see that red thing that goes into there and a the green thing goes into here? If you look at the green thing, let me zoom in a little. All right, so what it is, is that green thing goes over the black bar. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab your, if you have a pick tool, use a pick tool, but screwdriver does the job just fine. Um, let's do it from the back so we don't scratch it. Eh, we'll do it right here. This is all stuff you can't see anyway. All right, so just use that, lift that up, just like so. All right, and then this just comes right out. Make sure I stay in the shot. Wow, this car is tight. Um, let me put my hand, so. All right, so I'm just gonna. Wow, I've never seen one this tight. So this pretty much just comes out backwards towards the back. You know what, let me try it with the screwdriver. Um, I love that this car is super tight like this because I like when my videos are real. Sometimes you get into the car and there's a car that's been molested. And when you go to the video, it's super easy. It's so much better to do a video on a car that's not super easy. All right, come on.
All right, you know what? Let me, uh, I'm gonna get two screwdrivers, one on each side, and that should wedge it. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I actually found a pair of tweezers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna squeeze the end. Well, I swear this has never been this hard. Are we still in the shot? Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna squeeze the ends. Or you know what, we can actually, no, let's squeeze the ends. Jesus. <laughs> All right, so now that we did that, this piece, let me just show you that, right? All right, so this piece is just gonna come up and then once you, there's a little locking tab right here, so you have to lift it up and over the locking tab and it comes right down, that's it. All right, guys, now the next thing you can do is you're gonna pull out this vent, it comes out really easy. Just everything gets let go like this. All right. All right, now the, um, I actually took off a little tape from here. If you look down here, um, I took maybe two, three inches worth of tape just to make it a little more uh, easier to move around. Um, I thought the camera was recording, but it wasn't. Let me go get the adapter and I'll show you how uh, the rest of the install goes. All right, guys, now we're back in the car. I got the adapter. It's a Dention uh, GW1LBM one. Comes with an iPod cable the box all right this is uh, where the car connection cable goes iPod cable and then that's the aux for headphone jack this is an OEM quality iPod cable because Denshin makes a lot of the OEM adapters they pretty much they did Volkswagen Audi I don't know if they did BMW or not but um, it is OEM quality so everything's super 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 quality love it and nothing ever breaks really that's the best part of it all right here's the harness this is the reason we had to do all this crazy stuff is because this harness won't actually fit um, behind the dash the way it is. All right, so what we're going to do now is going to grab the factory harness. All right, and we are going to... First thing we're going to do is we're going to unclip this little blue clip that we had back here. Oops. Maybe I should have left it out before, but when you're doing a video, a lot of stuff. I guess if you guys are doing this at home, you can leave it out. Um, when you do a video, um, this actually takes time. So you're probably like 10 minutes in where... I started this at 10 a.m. Uh, 11 a.m. It's now 12:26. An hour and a half in, just making this video. So a lot of times you guys say, "Why don't you make this video?" It's, it's just they take time, and then the editing also takes time. All right, so we're done with that. Now, if you look over here, that has a little square. The little square always goes up towards the connector. Squeeze those two together. Now we're good. All right, now we're gonna come over here. All right, now this is gonna go in here. And we're going to open this baby up. All right, some of you guys already saw my last video. Already know I'm getting better at this. All right, so the cables. All right, so the cables over here um, go towards the outside. All right, so if you pay attention, the... Uh, all right. The... If you're looking... If you look at the connector like this, the, one, the cables all go towards the right. All right, so now we're going to... Hmm... See how well that holds it in. We're gonna slide this back in here. Mm -hmm. Or maybe not. There we are. Or maybe not. <laughs> All right, so pretty much it's supposed to come out the other end. As, as I sit here and boast about OEM quality, <laughs> doesn't go right in. But the adapter doesn't break, that's what matters. All right, so I'm just gonna grab my tool here, push that in, it went right in. Wasn't horrible, so that's it. All right, it holds that connector in, which is good. All right, now, uh, this other one, the black one that was here, this is the CD changer in the trunk. Um, if you have CDs, obviously already take them out. All right, now, this big block, I'm gonna leave right here. All right, I'm actually gonna put it in like that so it's out of the way. All right, uh, now we get to put the connections back. All right, so the only thing you're gonna have here is this big connector and the antenna. All right, uh, next step, 
All right, guys, I just I moved the camera angle because I just showed you how to pull out the pocket, and then uh, it didn't actually, uh, it, you guys weren't low enough. All right, so we're going to cover this up, and then what you're going to do is you're going to come over here, and you push from the back. Whoops. Well, push from the back, and don't push it back in. All right. And then the other side should come right out, and then you slide it out the side. All right, so now we're going to take that out because the box actually hides on the right over here. All right, and we're also got to show you how to run the cables. So let me get a... Uh, Let's zoom, we'll show you how to run that cable real quick. All right guys, now we're gonna show you how to run the cable. It's actually pretty easy in this car. Uh, just gonna grab your panel tool. I like using this one. Um, this PPT, ah, this is the mysterious one that gets cut off. I think it's three. All right, so you're just gonna pry up here, pretty much with that. Whoa. Make sure you hold on to your tool. It's a little hard because I can't see. All right, and then once you get it up here, it's gonna twist it sideways. That, that sideways twist gaps it up nice. All right, so uh, make sure you don't leave it there for like an hour because it'll it'll hold the force. But if you do it five minutes, it's not going to hurt anything. Hold the force. <laughs> hold the uh, the shape, I meant. All right, so we're going to put that in there. Now, the iPod cable should just go right up. All right, beautiful. All right, so that's um, one way to install it. The favorite way of people to install it in this car is when you're over here, this is your pocket. You drill a hole in here and leave it in the pocket. Uh, this customer is actually getting a panel vise up top. So we're gonna do something real nice up here. I'm not sure what yet. So I'm just showing you guys all the installs. Um, aux cable can be run through there as well. Um, let me grab an aux cable. All right guys, now we're back. I got the Enfic 3535 cable. It's basically a 3.5 to 3.5 cable. Now I'm gonna use the uh, Enfig Grabby tool. Grabby tool is a very technical tool, very technical term. All right, we use this to run wires. This should be on the website shortly. If you don't see it on the website and you want it, um, let us know. I think it's about ten dollars. Um, it's super helpful, of course. All right, so all you're gonna do is add this down through here. Now, once you get to here, you can actually probably feel it right on the edge. Yep. All right, and then once you feel it, just bring it on through, let go, grab your tool, comes back. Holler. Did I really just say that? All right, so this goes here, this goes here. All right, so now the tension box, this is going to go here. Okay, this is going to go in here. All right. Now I'm gonna grab a zip tie and tie these two together. And this is the cable, that car connection cable. That goes right here. Okay. So let me actually go into, uh, let me go get the zip tie and show you the zip tie. All right guys, I went back and got a zip tie. So pretty much you're just gonna grab the zip tie, bend up a little, go. Cool. Once you gotta bend the tip up. So it comes out the other end. All right, and then what you're gonna do here is you're gonna zip tie around here. What this does is, in case you're on a long trip or something, or even walking around, driving around town, um, if someone pulls on the cable, no matter what, it's not gonna come off, all right? It just gives you a little more security. Leave enough bend over here so it has enough slack. All right, cut off the excess. <sighs> Give this a quick tug, make sure it doesn't come out by itself. All right, then we're gonna tuck this over here to the right. Take the panel tool out. All right. There's enough space right there where you can leave it, and it's not gonna, um, it's not really gonna go anywhere. All right, let me uh, move up the camera. All right, guys. Uh, now we're time to put the cage back in. Just make sure you shove everything down below. Um, every so you're gonna need the, the antenna and the main plug. Everything else goes down below. This goes up here. All right. So this is gonna kind of stay. Uh, this is gonna stay over here facing this way, if I remember correctly. All right, yeah, like that, okay? So we're gonna try to squeeze all this in. All right, go like this, go like this. All right, now that we're halfway through, just pull this all the way, and then this just guide on the way up. All right, and that just has to stay. The air vents go into the two holes, so this hanging out right there isn't gonna affect anything, okay? So now we have more than enough right there. 
and uh, and the antenna right here. Okay, just pull out more of the antenna. All right, there you go. Now that we have this antenna and this over here, everything's perfect. All right, so now we got uh, just the four screws to put back. No, wait a minute, which way do we go first? Oh, air vents first. Air vents. So now we're gonna put this one back in first. You guys see that? Push this bad boy back in. All right, make sure that you uh, put that metal clip that I put down over here. All right. Oh, wrong way. All right, the big big mouth goes towards the back of the car, or facing you. All right, now that's just gonna go right in there. Huh. You know what? Put the bottom in first, maybe. Yeah, bottom in first and the top clips in. It's little details, little details. All right, now we got the air vents in, you're gonna put in the four screws. Um, I told you not to do it with a drill gun. But I have a drill gun with a clutch, so do as I say, not as I do. See, my drill gun, it has a sensitive pressure trigger, so I set it to its lowest setting, so it stops, give it a little, little punch, and then it's good to go. All right. Now, uh, air vents. This is all stuff that maybe I shouldn't have shown. Maybe I should have shown. I just want to show you guys that. The reason I'm doing this is I want to show you guys that it goes back in, because uh, a lot of people, you know, it's the internet. Everyone wants to talk junk. So a lot of people comment things like, oh, that's never going to fit. You know, there's no room once you stuff it. So I just want to prove all the uh, doubters. That's all. And also show you guys complete install. This goes in here. Or the other way. Wait a minute. It's the other way. Yes, it's the other way. So that goes here. Like everything's upside down right now. Oh, it is upside down because last time I did it, it was like this. <laughs> I mean, when I took it out, it was like this. Funny, funny. All right, that loose one out there is a CD changer that we took out because we replaced it with that one. All right, so this all pops right in, pops right in. And then we're going to sneak in the, uh, the little pocket down here. Alright, everything goes in there. Now last but not least is the radio. Alright, first thing we're going to do is the antenna. Then, very important, we're going to put this up here. Make sure we don't scratch anything. Alright, now we are going to... Now make sure that when this goes in, make sure it goes in straight. Um, the plug in here isn't uh, factory, so you just want to make sure you guide it nice and slow. Okay, that looks good. Now at this point, everything goes in there and my phone celebrates that we're done. Uh, now when you hit the mode button now, it's going to say CD no disc, we're gonna say Ken FM, has a AM, mode, you're gonna see, well, see track 99, that means it's working, and then the other one's no disc, because there's no disc in the internal. All right, you might wanna plug in some music and check it, but I know the fact that says track 99, that means it's working. All right, that's it, now we put the whole dashboard together and we're done. All right, guys, now Christian over at Enfig. Uh, we just wrapped up the install. Customer's getting a uh, beautiful Panavice mount that goes over here to hold his phone. Uh, originally, he was going with a custom holder. So what we're gonna do is we were gonna drill a hole through here and run the iPod cable out of here. So that way he could plug it right into his phone. He's changed his mind because he, he, he doesn't know what 
if he switches phones, he, he's going to do something different. So now we're actually going to do the install down in the pocket, like I said below. So uh, I'm going to add a second part to this. Now we're going to do an alternate, alternate, alternate install. I was going to say alternate ending, but that doesn't make any sense. So let me uh, pull things out and then uh, we'll show you how to wire everything in here. All right, guys, now we're back in the shop now. I, uh, customer decided he wants everything in here since he's doing everything else. So we're going to do a nice little custom install. I looked at the back of the, um, I looked at the back behind here and it's tight on the left side. On the right side, it's super okay. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill um, right over here. Um, actually, I'm going to drill over here for the iPod cable. So that one's going to be super easy. Stay towards the top. All right, so it's a half inch hole. So I'm gonna drill right here. All right, oh, you can't see that. No, that's a little higher. All right, always make sure you're not hitting nothing. Double check. If it makes you a little uncomfortable, make put a little piece of cardboard inside. That way, if you if you do hit something, no mark anything up. I've obviously done this before, so I know it's a half inch hole. All right, so we're gonna. There's always gonna be uh, little pieces in there. All right, so I'm gonna hit that with a file. Now, actually, it doesn't look half bad. But it's, the inside of this pocket's made out of rubber. So it actually makes the hole smaller. I'm gonna leave it. Alright, make sure you vacuum that out before you put it in. I'm doing this into a garbage can. I don't want you guys thinking I'm just jumping off the side of my desk onto the floor. Alright, so the iPod cable is gonna go in through here. I'm gonna try to get it out the other side. See, what happened is that now that the rubber got hot, I mean cold, it's not as flexible. So let's not let us out. So we're gonna go back in here. Just to let you guys know at home, it isn't always super easy for us either. Sometimes we do run into issues. All right, so iPod cable comes out. Jesus. All right. If you guys want to stick a grommet in there, that's fine. I don't think they're necessary, especially in a... Grommets are necessary if it's something where it's visible, but if it's something invisible like that, you're never going to see it. No big deal. All right. Next thing we're going to use in this install is a uh, uh, iSimple IS-335. I love this thing. Um, it's super cheap. Cheap. Not cheap in quality. Cheap in price. All right. So what it is is... Aux. And then this is a little little uh, mounting point. So this is going to be coming in from the inside. Comes with its own 3.5 to 3.5 cable. It's a nice skinny cable that actually fits the. Um, if you have a case, it's a skinny head. And then if you have a different adapter, you can use a converter go from headphone to RCA. In this car, we're not going to need it. So let me look at the hole. I think it's a 5/8 if I'm not mistaken. It says 3/8. Alright, so I'm going to look at my unibit. This is a unibit. My unibit says 3 eighths. I'm going to stop before 3 eighths. So I'm doing this on the right side. I'm keeping the iPod cable separate from that side so we know what's going on. I'm going to do this on the right side because there's a lot of room behind the dashboard. Because obviously this piece has to stick out. Um, could I have possibly done it on the left? Yeah. But why am I going to risk it? You know. Um, so we're going in through here. Uh, you know what? Let me put a little more over. That way you got room to stick your fingers in and pull it out. Even though on a most you're just going to pull it out from the cable anyway. Uh, this one, don't go high. Go right in the middle. You could go high if you wanted to, but I just think for ease of, in, of putting it in. That's 11.
Oh, you know what? It's going to be nice actually because this is such a pain. The, the, what made it what made it such a pain to put the other cable in is going to make it easy for this to stick in. I usually put a dab of hot glue, and to be honest with you, on the back, I'm probably still going to do hot glue on this one. But because the rubber is actually making such a good contact, I might not even have to. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, I'm probably not even gonna have to. Let me drill it out to three eighths, which is what it says it should be. I always stop short just in case. Three eighths. All right, I went a little past three eighths only because I know there's rubber there. Usually, I would have been super slow with it, but I know there's resistance because of the rubber cover coating of the inside. All right, now just to be OCD, you make sure it says audio input right side up. Now, I'm just going to hold this right to the edge and push down. Don't do what I just did. You're going to break the, the handle. Most of you, I would just leave it because what I'm going to do now is it's sticking out a hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it out, drill some more, see if I can get it tighter. And don't recommend most of you do that because you're going to end up with something that you're going to make the hole too big. I'm going to go one size bigger. I'm going to 13, 30 seconds. Wait a minute. All right. But don't forget, I'm also going to do a dab of hot glue from the back. I always recommend hot glue no matter what, because even if it's pretty secure, hot glue just makes it more secure. Because it's going to take you five minutes right now to do hot glue, where if you don't do it now, down the road, you're probably not going to take the thing apart to fix it, so you're going to be sitting there with a broken. Alright. I'm good with that. Actually, I'm not even good with it. There's so much rubber on this side that it's making it stick out. So what I'm going to do is see if I can get this in here. Ooh, no I can't. Can't do that because it's going to... Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it with a file and try to file out some of that rubber. And then uh, I'm going to stick it in and hot glue it from the back. I'll show you the hot glue. Alright guys, I'm going to show you real quick what I did with the aux input. If you can see it, it's in there. Uh, I'm just going to focus in on it. It's a little hard focus. Alright, so it's pretty much flat and then it comes with its, its own cable. And then you just put the cable in. That way you don't always have it hanging. It's actually very cool. All right. Uh, that's it. And then the hole for the iPod. Sorry, what I meant, this is... Uh, all right, guys. Videos are shot by Enfit Car Stereo. We sell and install. We also ship worldwide. If you're a shop, we do dealer accounts. We have a lot of accounts across the country. Actually, across the world. Um, we do provide lifetime tech support and worldwide shipping. Um, nfitcarstyle.com just google the name we're all over the place and uh thank you for watching my name is christian any questions give us a call